Let's take a look how you can make this grungy text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so I'm gonna go with this artboard size. And for the font, I went with the Nastupe Soft. I also gonna leave a link in the description so you can download it. And from here, let's go to the filter. Let's go to blur gallery and select field blur. Let's go and click on convert a smart object. And here I'm gonna add more pins and I'm gonna customize them. Just click on it and increase or decrease the blurriness with this wheel. So it's gonna look something like this, click OK. Now let's press and hold shift, select both layers with the background and with the text, right click, convert to smart object. And now we're gonna to go to the filter, select filter gallery. And from here, let's go to the texture, open it up and select the green. Here I'm gonna increase the contrast nice and high, also the intensity. And also we're gonna to need to change up the grain type. So let's go here and I'm gonna go and select the vertical. So this way we're gonna achieve this garangy spike effect. And I also gonna increase the contrast all the way up. The intensity is good. And I also gonna duplicate the grain. So let's go here to the plus, click on the plus. So this is gonna add another grain. I'm gonna leave it as it is, click okay. And now I'm gonna go back to the filter and separately I'm gonna go to the noise and add another noise. Make sure it's on monochrome. I'm gonna go with like 70, nice and high, click okay. And I'm gonna go back to the filter. Let's go to the filter gallery again. And here I'm gonna go to the sketch now, open it up and let's go and select the torn edges. And here you can customize the settings to increase or decrease this contrast. The smoothness is gonna make it sharp or unsharp. Here we got the contrast. I'm gonna decrease it a little bit. I think I'm gonna go with these settings. I also have another grain here. You can see I'm gonna uncheck it and I'm gonna select the torn edges and recustomize it eventually but I think I like this one, click OK. And now but least I'm gonna go to the adjustment layers, select solid color, make it black, click OK. And we're gonna go to the filter, noise, add noise. We're gonna add another noise. Select convert to smart object and I'm gonna decrease it a little bit more, 50-ish, click OK. And let's change up the blend mode, select overlay. And that's how I make this grunge effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.